another day is here. We're off to Kenora today, guys. It's kind of fun, eh? It's exciting. Took the bike into work today. That was exciting. So I didn't have my coffee this morning. Usually I have my coffee in the pickup on the way to work, but on the bike it's harder to drink the coffee. So I didn't get the coffee. So I haven't had my coffee yet. And what is life? I have to pull myself together and go get a step deck trailer, a 53 foot step. I'm not seeing any over here. Those are all 48 foots. So uh, I'm gonna have to go find a 53 foot step, hook on, and make my way over to Deacon's Corner, which is around the corner on the east side of the city. I'm gonna have to grab myself a coffee there or it's gonna be an interesting day. Let's go get our trailer. <laughs> Would you look at that? I found one. That one's mine. I like this one. 131D. You're coming with me. That's why it rhymes. Someone dropped it a little bit high though. Uh, probably got a higher fifth wheel than me, so I'm just gonna lower this down a little bit so I can hook on. Get those out of the way. Sorry, that was probably pretty loud in your ears. This way, right? Yes. This way. And you'll see it come down over there. Okay. Now we just gotta sneak right in there. We'll push ourselves right under there. And it'll click in. watching can you see it through that screen there it is that's nice that's nice there she is look all hooked up Okay, we'll continue rolling these up. Walk around here to our pre trip. And we're off to Kenora, Ontario. I pulled into the Petro Pass here in Deacon's Corner, and I think I made a mistake. What's this four wheeler doing back here? I think they made a mistake too. First of all, you're going the wrong way. Second of all, you're on the big trucks. This is where the big boys are. Anyway. I think I made a mistake. There's a Timmy's across the road. I am uh, definitely going to be headed that way. Sorry, Petro. I mean, you have decent coffee. Hey, look, there's one of our guys. You have decent coffee here, but you know, when there's a Timmy's across the road, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, my hands are tied. I gotta go there. I think I actually drove this truck that's in front of me not too long. Remember that Volvo I was in like a couple of weeks ago for a day, but I ended up not doing anything that day? I think that was the one. Someone else is taking it around now. It's being put to work. How do I get there again? I'm going this way. I think there's two ways to get to this Tim Hortons. This is not one of them, is it? Wait, wait, it might be. Yes, I think I can get there. Yeah, this will take me there, I'm pretty sure. If not, then we'll just uh, <laughs> try and make a U-turn somewhere. Oh yeah. This truck company right here, off to our right, uh, they got a pretty good location with a Timmy's right next door, right? I don't think that was planned, but can't complain of that. I'm gonna pull up beside this beautiful Super B unit. From British Columbia, yikes. How are the fires doing out that way, guys? I heard that it's doing not so good, not so good. 
Nice truck. Nice truck. I like that. This fender's a bit bent up, but I'll forgive him. Yes, I am loaded up with goodies that I should not have bought. Don't look. Don't look. Ah! I'm dropping it. I, I mean, I'm not, I don't have anything here. There's nothing to drop. Where's the machine at? I didn't have breakfast this morning, okay? Hungry. Oh yeah, we have to get going though. We have to get going. I'd like to have been a little ways further down the road already so no time to dawdle you have 12 hours and 32 minutes of remaining drive time no one's talking to you but thanks anyway thanks at least she cares answering questions I didn't even ask do I have a stop sign here? Because I stopped anyway. There's a stop sign there, but is that stop sign for me? I don't know. Here we go. Off to the races. We're going to have to race today too. Like I said, I want to make up some time. <clears throat> Whoa, my bagel. My bagel went flying. You guys remember the last time we were in Kelowna and we couldn't even see that hill up ahead there? The smoke was so thick. The sky still isn't 
blue, not as blue as it should be. There's still some smoke in the upper atmosphere, but uh, it's a whole lot clearer and sort of back to normal here today, thank goodness. We're picking up some more culverts right over here. Somebody in Winnipeg needs them tomorrow morning. And I'm here to pick them up. Here's my driveway up here, right after this, uh, whatever that is. Right across from the cemetery, ooh, spooky. I am here, I don't know which one of these are mine. Probably, maybe those, maybe those. Probably that one right there, I think. It looks like they're high enough that I need a step deck because they, they told me to make sure I had a step deck today so that uh, I could load up because the flatbed will not work. That means the freight is high. Hey, okay, I guess I'll go in and uh, talk to the good people. Figure out what's going on here. We're going to tie her down. We're going to take her home. Oh, wait, got to let the government know I'm here. Government always wants to know. I'm on duty, I'm loading cargo. Okay, government, now leave me alone. Stop taking my money. Can I give you a quick look at why I'm sweating so much? It's because of that. Yeah, it's hot today, it's hot, and here's my load. Sort of a little bunk that we made out of the other freight. <laughs> belly wrap twice so it's not going to roll back and forth it's also holding it down two extra straps on the bottom for holding it down four straps holding down this stuff here we're using as dunnage so that that doesn't move and then my tires are right here so three straps made it work and this also has dunnage in there nailed in there to make sure it doesn't roll so Shouldn't be a problem. There's one in there as well, and on the other side. Okay. We are out of here. Air conditioning, air conditioning. Come on, air conditioning. Man, is it hot. Have I told you that yet? Calm down up there. Gotta let those dry out. They're all drenched in sweat. Wonderful, wonderful. Got my paperwork here. Gonna put it in my fancy orange paperwork holder down there. This is all going to Winnipeg. We've got to deliver it tomorrow morning. Okay, air conditioning. Where are you? Come on. Don't let me down. Whoo, I am a pampered baby. I love my air conditioning. Let's get out of here. So we're going to go, uh, find them. So it took an hour for them to load it all up and, uh, me to secure it and everything. Since I parked here, it's been an hour, so pretty good I think. Off we go. Uh, lights on for safety even though it's the middle of the day. So we're gonna go to uh, the other side of Kenora. We're in Kenora. We're gonna take Veterans Way up to uh, Highway 17. That's Trans Canada. Take that west and then there's a little pull out on that side of Kenora yet and uh, I'm gonna pull in there and check my straps and tighten them up again because the load might have settled a little bit by that time. And then from there it will be non-stop back to the yard. I'm guessing I'm probably delivering this in the morning so I'm gonna leave it all tied down for myself. I could leave it tied down anyway because you don't want it to just roll off in the yard, right? That'd be a big mess and a nice little meeting in the office afterwards. I like to avoid those kind of meetings. I don't like being the cause of safety meetings. It's looking good, looking good. Watching it by mirrors, making sure it's not shifting. It shouldn't. I am 99.9999999% sure that it's not going to move a millimeter definitely won't move an inch. If it moves an inch, I did a bad job. A really bad job. That's bad. Does anybody want a school bus? There's lots of school buses here. I heard in Australia their school buses aren't orange or yellow. That must be so weird. 
How do you know it's a school bus then? Oh, here they paint them yellow or orange uh, so that they're visible clearly from a long ways away. You can tell it's a school bus from miles away pretty much. There they are off to the left. So you know that's a school bus without even getting up close to it. What color are they in Australia? How do you know it's a school bus from a distance? Off to the right, here comes the sign. Ready for it? There's a big polar bear on it. Manitoba, welcome, bienvenue. And then a whole bunch of graffiti on it because people are awesome. Why do you gotta do that? That's our sign. Don't don't stick your stickers on there and don't graffiti our sign. Anyway, scale's closed, so that's good news. No more travel restrictions between the between the provinces if you're fully vaxxed. The sign on the right here says if you're coming to Manitoba and you're not fully vaxxed, you have to isolate for 14 days before going out among us Manitobans. Keep your germs and your cooties to yourself. Oh boy, MOT is at the scale. Luckily they had it closed right now. I mean, I got nothing to hide. I just really don't want to talk to them right now. And off we go. Manitoba. Proper cell service again. Thank you very much. Just over to our right is the official center of Canada. From the tip of Newfoundland to the end of Vancouver Island. East to west. Right there. We're now officially in Western Canada. So technically Steinbeck is in Eastern Canada, but we will never admit to that. We are Western. And why is this guy going so slow? You're out of Ontario now, bud. You can do the speed limit again. My truck doesn't even do the speed limit. I'm still passing people. So if I'm passing you, that means there's something wrong. You're going slow. My truck is governed at 99 kilometers an hour. 60 miles an hour. That's all I got in this thing. I got the power to go a lot faster. I have been limited. that off back to home tomorrow we're picking up another trailer from the US at uh, the gas tracks there just over the border got to get there as early as I can so be up and er up and at it early tomorrow it's supposed to rain hopefully it does but you know every time this summer they said it's supposed to rain it ends up not raining way zero you have a good day. Mom said you were very good. Chevy said he beat you up though. It's not true. It's not true. Zavina basking in the sunlight, sort of in the shade. <laughs> it's been one of the last really nice days uh, for a little while. Forecast says 100% chance of rain tomorrow. They're pretty confident. Oh, good. So you Actually, know, know what? No, like our plants need it. Yeah, they're saying 100%. So you know it's not going to rain. <laughs> it's not far off, actually. I've it's, never seen them say actually 100% chance of rain. It might sprinkle for like 20 minutes and then it'll be like storm warning. Storm warning, yeah. A couple of drops. We told you! Commander, you got a report? You have a report? Anything? Anything to say? Say the good people? Come a little closer, I want to whisper something in your ear. Stop driving with nuts. <laughs> Watch out, Frank. Watch out. You can stay out here. You don't want to go in anyway. Chevy! There he comes. Hey, buddy. What are you doing inside all by yourself, you loner? It's hard to keep them outside in the summer. Five and ten minute intervals and that's all he wants. 